Hey guys, today's video is about how to create 3D letters inside Affinity Designer version 2. Like you see right here and we are starting with a new clean document. And first of all we of course need the text we want to transform or the letter we want to transform. So we are going right here to the toolbar and selecting the text tool and typing any text we want, for example ABC in this case, making it bigger selecting it and choosing a cool font. I've chosen Roboto for this one and going with um, black style and moving in the middle of our document by having snapping activated. We can also make this a little bit bigger like this. And now what we have to do next is to deactivate the snapping feature. And now zoom in. And now we need to press option if you're using a MacBook so Apple computer and um, Alt for Windows computers, hold down and zoom in very closely. So and now move, hold down and move a little bit to the angle where you want to create a 3D effect. So for this case to the top right corner like this, as you see right here, just a little bit. And now we can um, zoom out again. And what we have to do next is press Command and J on Mac and Control and J on Windows and simply hold down. And we're seeing in the Layers tab on the right that we are um, creating, um, duplicating the step we've done before. So in, in this case, creating this 3D effect and we can do it till we are satisfied with how um, big this 3D is looking, 3D effect is looking. We can now select the first layer, move down to the bottom and this one by holding down shift, selecting all of them, we can go to Boolean operations and we can click on add. And now it's adding and we already see that we have now our um, 3D effect. We can give it a color and we have to move this curve underneath our first text. We have to keep to um, have the 3D effect looking better. So in this case we can give it a softer color like this one for example. And if you want to we can also select all of this, group it with um, going command and G or control instead of command for um, Windows PCs. We can now resize the whole effect or any letter we are creating and move in the middle of our object again. And if you want to give it an even better 3D um, touch, we can select all of it, go to Quick FX, we can go to Outer Shadow, where it is, right here. We can um, select a color, for example, one of the recent ones, like this one or this one, a darker one looks better, and give it some radius like 50 or 20, something like this and 20 offset and going to the bottom angle. And then we have it look even more 3D, even more cooler. And yeah, that's gonna do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye.